and welcome back to the channel in today's video i will be sharing with you how to cut and sew this stylish vicky james off shoulder dress with ruffle so if this is something you like please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up so let's dive right into today's video so to start i'll go ahead to mark my basic measurements which is my shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust and shoulder to waistline so after i'm done marking that I'll go ahead to mark my shoulder divided by 2. My shoulder is 14 divided by 2. I have 7. And I'll be adding half inch to it, making it 7 and a half. And I'll come down by 1 inch. Go ahead to draw my shoulder slope. Now, I'll mark a basic neckline of 3 by 3 inches, which will be serving as a guide for this pattern. After I'm done drawing that, the next step is to find your chest line. And to find your chest line or mark your armhole is your bust side conference divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. I'll mark, go ahead and place my tape at this point and mark my shoulder divided by 2 again. This is to enable me have a straight line at my chest line. And after I'm done doing that, I'll place my ruler and I'm going to draw out a straight line on the chest line area. Now, I'll be dividing my armhole into two and I'll mark. Come in by half inch and on the chest line, I'll mark my bust circumference divided by four. I'll place my cuff through touching my bust circumference, the half inch at the armhole and at the shoulder. And after I'm done marking this, I'm just going to go ahead to mark my bust pan or nipple to nipple divided by two. My bust pan or nipple to nipple is seven inches divided by two. I have 3.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark this all the way and I'll place my ruler to connect and draw out a straight line. Now I'll be marking out my basic dart, which is half inch on both sides. And I'll come down by one inch from the bust and I'll go ahead to connect this all the way to the upper part and also repeat this at the other side of my pattern. After I'm done cutting this out, I'll go ahead to use my marker to outline this dart to make it more visible for you to see. After I'm done marking out the dart, I'll be inserting my body side conference. I'll mark my bust side conference divided by 4 and add my sewing allowance of 1.5 inches. You can use 2 inches. Go ahead to mark my underboss side conference divided by 4, which is 7, and measure the dart intake mark and add my sewing allowance to it also. Now, at the waist, I'll be marking my waist side conference divided by 4. Measure this dart intake and I'll replace it and add my sewing allowance to it. And after I'm done, I'm just going to connect from the open that bust to the bust to the chest line and then connect down to the waist so here is my pattern and this is what i have i will just go ahead to use my marker to outline this the next step is to go ahead to mark a bust start so i'll be coming down by one inch from my bust point and at the dart i'll be going out by 1.5 inches this will serve as a guide to draw my line to connect my dart so i'll just go ahead and place and draw out a line at that point I'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides of the line then i'll connect it stopping at that 1.5 inches i measured away from the bust and after i'm done connecting i'm just going to go ahead to draw this out so this that we are going to replace it at the lower part of our pattern so we have one inch there that means half inch on both sides of the dart so we are going to replace it at the lower part of our pattern and we are going to draw a straight line and connect it down to the waistline of the pattern so this is what i I have after I'm done drawing this out, I'll just go ahead and cut out my pattern and I'll be tracing out what I have on the other side of my pattern. So after I'm done cutting out this my pattern, I'm just going to go ahead to open it up this way. Now we're going to draw out the neckline on this pattern. So I'll be coming up by one inch after my chest line. So you can use 1.5 or 2 inches if you don't want your bust to be too revealing and i will make a mark so from the shoulder point i'll go ahead and mark one inch because this is actually an off shoulder it has a shoulder but the shoulder is slightly very small so with that you it can go as an off shoulder dress so from that point i'm just going to go ahead to draw like a small curve 
connecting to that one inch i have at that point so after i'm done drawing at this point i'm just going to go ahead to connect it to the upper part but i'll be drawing out one inch at the shoulder also and i'll just go ahead to connect to this point so at this neckline that is where you'll be having the ruffle on it and i'll just go ahead to use my marker to outline this to make it more feasible for you to see so after i'm done marking this i'll just go ahead to indicate the part that you'll be having the button on the dress so after i'm done marking that out the next step is just to go ahead to blend in my dots and i'm going to cut out that excess i have there so i just left it so that when i'm tracing it out one part will be bigger or longer than the other part so after tracing this out i'll go ahead and repeat this at the other side of the pattern also so after cutting that out, I'll just go ahead to cut out the neckline of this pattern and I'll slit my dart into two. After that, I'll just go ahead to cut out the half inch because I'll be adding half inch to join the pattern back. When sewing, you're just going to add half inch to add back or join back the dress at that point now to cut out the skirt part i'm going to place my tape starting from my waist which is 17 and now the length of the dress i want is 30 35 inches but because we are going to be adding raw food to this dress i'm going to be ending it at 32 inches so the rest of the three inches or two inches i'm going to add is going to be for the ruffle so yeah you don't really need your hip length and after that i went ahead to draw a straight line at that point so i'll just go ahead to mark my waist to hip point which is seven inches just to serve as a guide and because when i'm cutting this out i want to make sure that it is not tight on my hip so i'll just go ahead to label my pattern at that point now after this we're going to go ahead to insert our measurement so what we have here is my waist side conference divided by four and i'll add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance so if you want to add a dart you can go ahead to do that we actually have a dart at the lower part of this skirt but i don't want to add that so for folding your dress i used my hip side conference divided by four plus six inches you can you you can add four inches to your hip measurement or six inches to your hip measurement any one of your choice so here i went ahead to measure my hip circumference and made sure that i had an ss there and it's not going to be tight on my hip so i had about three inches after my hip measurement which is okay so i'll go ahead and notch the center and i'm going to cut out my pattern so while cutting out my pattern is also on fold just like the same way i cut out the front part so i'm sorry that the other side of my skirt is not actually showing so i did not know that it was not showing when i was actually recording it so now i'll be using this front pattern to cut out the back pattern of my skirt but before doing that i'll be marking out one inch for my zipper allowance so for the lower part of my skirt i won't be adding a line into it i'll just go ahead to weave out the rough edges so i'm adding one inch for my zipper allowance now i'll just go ahead and mark and i will place the front part of my skirt but before that i'll be marking out half inch at the upper part of my skirt this is to take out that zip bulginess at the back of my skirt so i'll be also replacing this at the side like the sides of my skirt and that is after i'm done tracing out the measurement i have on my front skirt so i'll just go ahead and pin this down and after that remember that half inch here you're going to replace it here and just blend it into your skirt after you're done blending this into your skirt you're just going to go ahead to take the shape or trace out the shape that you have on the front pattern of your skirt so that when you're sewing your skirt the shapes will be matching at this side so this is what i have i'll label this as back now we'll go ahead and cut out the front part of the skirt which has like an overlay or wrap in front of it so now you either want to fold your skirt and mark your nipple to nipple line on it just like you're adding a dart to your skirt 
or you can just take the upper part of your dress and place it on it and make sure that you have the center of your skirt and then you're going to mark there so that point is the nipple to nipple point so just like i said on my own skirt i did not add a that i don't like adding that when i'm sewing a flare skirt or a bustier pattern so i'll be coming up by five inches from the lower part of my skirt and on my nipple to nipple line that i marked out and from there i'll connect it all the way up to my nipple to nipple line so after i'm done doing that at the side i'll be going up by half inch and i'll also go ahead and mark that same half inch here after i'm done marking this i'll just go ahead to draw out a shape there making it look like a slight curve and i'm just going to go ahead to take it all the way up to that nipple to nipple line that i have on that part so i'm just going to go ahead and connect it all the way up and after i'm done connecting i'll just blend in the curve and from the sides also i'm going to go ahead to connect it all the way down so this is what i have and you're going to be connecting it to that half inch by the sides also i'll go ahead to use my marker and i'm going to outline this to make it visible so this line now at the center you'll be cutting through it but when you're sewing your dress instead of adding half inch for turn up allowance in front you'll be adding one inch you use half inch to turn it and the other half inch will serve as an overlay on top of each other because you'll be top stitching it on top of each other now i'll just go ahead and i will cut out my skirts so if you have any question about this tutorial please also leave it at the comment section so here's my skirt after i'm done cutting it just like i said so this is the center part of my skirt i'll just go ahead to mark my nipple to nipple divided by two come down by six inches and i'll mark so i'm doing this for those people that want to add that to their skirt just like we have on that pattern now i'll just go ahead mark half inch and i'll be extending my dart at both sides after doing that this is what i have so this that intake you're going to be replacing it on the side of your skirt so now heading over to the back pattern i've gone ahead to mark my basic measurement just like we did for the front the only difference is that i added my zipper allowance of 1.5 inches for the lower part i added one inch but here i added 1.5 because i will be turning this with a lining after that i went ahead to mark my nipple to nipple divided by two now i'm just going to go ahead to place my ruler and i'm going to connect and draw after I'm done doing that, I'll come down by one inch from my bust point, mark half inch on both sides, and I'm going to connect my ruler and I'm going to draw out a straight line at this point. After I'm done drawing this out, I'll be inserting my body measurement. I'll mark my bust circumference divided by four, add my sewing allowance, mark my under bust circumference divided by four, measure the dart intake, and add my sewing allowance. At the waist, I'll mark my waist circumference divided by 4, measure the dart, and I'll add my sewing allowance. Now, I'm going to go ahead to connect my pattern starting from the under bust and take it to the upper part and also connect the waistline. I'll just go ahead to cut this out. So next, I'll be working on the neckline of this pattern. So I'll just go ahead and mark 1 inch and come up by 1 inch from the chest line so i'll just go ahead to place my curve drew and i'm going to connect this all the way up and also take this out to the zipper area also now after i'm done doing this i'll be taking out the bulginess at the back mark half inch and take it up and extend it up so you can just go ahead to add this back at the side of your dress now i'll just go ahead to cut out my back pattern so this is what we have for the back pattern of the dress so if you have any question concerning this tutorial please don't forget to leave your question at the comment section if you haven't yet subscribed please hit on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so after i was done cutting out this is what my dress looks like so next we are going to head over to the sleeve i've gone ahead to mark my shoulder to elbow and my shoulder to wrist where 
I want my sleeve to stop. So next is to find your sleeve cap height, which is your bust circumference divided by 12 plus 0 0.5. So your armhole circumference, that is what you mark. My armhole circumference is 16 divided by 2. I have 8. So I added one inch there for ease. Now I'll connect from that point to the upper part. So this line I have here, I'm going to divide it into two and mark. From that center again to the upper part, I'll divide it and mark. So from that center again, I'll come up by half inch. So at this point, I'll divide it again and mark. And from the center again, I'll come down by half. Now I'll connect from the upper part to the half and to the other side. And after I'm done connecting, from that first or initial center, I'm going to connect it all the way to the half inch I came down with and to the upper part. So this is just how to mark your basic sleeve. And after that, I'll just go ahead to use my marker to outline this part. So next, I'll just go ahead to mark how wide i want this sleeve to be so you can use nine or ten inches or any measurement of your choice here i'll mark my elbow circumference divided by two and i will be adding 1.5 inches to it and after that i'll just go ahead to connect and take it all the way to that nine or ten inches at the lower part so after that i'll use my marker and connect and add half inch for joining allowance at the upper part so with this we have come to the end of today's tutorial please join us at the sewing part in our next video thanks